Ten Little Caterpillars by Bill Martin Jr. Illustrated by Lois Ellert. The first little caterpillar crawled into a bower. The second little caterpillar wriggled up a flower. The third little caterpillar climbed a cabbage head. So we have a cabbage, a toad, a beetle, and a winter squash. The fourth little caterpillar found a melon bed. So there's a watermelon, a musk melon, and a honeydew melon, and some ladybugs. The fifth little caterpillar sailed a garden pool. So there's a maple leaf, a poplar leaf, an oak leaf down in the corner. The sixth little caterpillar was carried off to school. So there's a monarch chrysalis, a monarch eggs, a milkweed plant, and there's the spider and there's the caterpillar chewing through the leaves. The seventh little caterpillar met a hungry wren. There's the hungry wren. There's a grasshopper down there, a thistle plant, a dragonfly. The eighth little caterpillar was frightened by a hen. There's a big hen. The ninth little caterpillar fell into the sea. The tenth little caterpillar scaled an apple tree. So there's the apple branch and the leaf. Caterpillar is munching through the leaves, and there's the apples. And hung there patiently. So there's a cardinal. Until by and by, the tenth little caterpillar became a butterfly. One, morning cloak. Caterpillar feeds on tree leaves, nettles, and wild rose leaves. And then it turns into a butterfly. Two is the buckeye caterpillar. So feeds on a variety of leaves, including snapdragon leaves, and turns into a butterfly. The cabbage looper caterpillar devours leaves like garden crops, and turns into a moth. A yellow bear caterpillar chomps on tree leaves and leaves of garden crops, and it turns into a Virginia tiger moth. A yellow-necked caterpillar feeds on tree leaves and turns into a moth. A monarch caterpillar eats only milkweed leaves and turns into a butterfly. The monarch, or the painted lady caterpillar feeds on thistle leaves and other plants such as daisies and turns into a painted lady butterfly. The woolly bear caterpillar eats many low growing plants, grasses and weeds and turns into Isabella tiger moth. Common wood nymph caterpillar feeds on grasses in woods, meadows and fields and turns into a butterfly. And the tiger swallowtail caterpillar eats shrubs and broadleaf tree leaves and turns into a butterfly. So our little craft today is going to be to make a caterpillar. So this is going to be our finished product. So we're going to take a piece of green paper. You can use scrapbooking paper or construction paper and you're going to cut it in the shape of a leaf. So 
basically just an oval with a point and then I left a stem on the end and then I just took my scissors and cut some little spots out of the leaf where it would look like the caterpillar took some bites and then I took a punch and I punched some holes so that it looks like the caterpillar is chewing through my leaf and then to make my caterpillar I just took a craft stick you can use a popsicle stick or a craft stick and I'm going to use some craft puff balls. So you can do any color you want. Caterpillars are not all the same color. They're all different colors. And I don't know exactly what color some caterpillars are, but I'm just using whatever colorful puff balls that I could find. So I'm going to line my stick with puff balls. And then up at the front, I'm going to put two spots for his eyes. Now you can use your googly eyes that you have in your craft supplies, or you can just use some more puff balls. And I thought it would look cute just to glue these little green puff balls on here for his eyes. So once that's dry and your puff balls are nicely attached on there, you need to put some glue on the bottom of your stick. And you need to attach it to your leaf. So I'm going to put some glue on there. I'm going to put my caterpillar stick on my leaf. And then another way that you can make it is you could use a clothespin. And you can use it as a clip. And you can clip it on the side of your leaf. So on this one, I only needed three puff balls, and I gave them some nice big eyes. So when you're done, this is going to be what your caterpillar on the leaf looks like. Or if you did your paper clip one, you can just clip it on the edge of your leaf, and then you can hang it on the fridge, or you can give it away as a gift. So there's your nice caterpillar on a leaf.